body has never been found. The evidence all pointing to one man. Fans of KSL's Cold Podcast certainly recognize that storyline, but this time we're not talking about Susan Powell. No, in the podcast's much anticipated second season, KSL investigative reporter and cold host Dave Colley digs into the disappearance of another young Utah mom. It's a case many people never heard of, but by the time you finish episode one, you'll be invested until the end. That's the challenge when you don't have it. Your job gets harder. It's not impossible, but it definitely is exponentially harder. Prosecutors hesitated to charge Josh Powell with Susan's murder, pressuring police to first find her body. We didn't have any physical evidence. Josh killed himself and their two sons before detectives could come up with any physical proof that she was dead. Josh, arguably, got away with murder. Everything he did screamed, I'm guilty. For years, many people have pointed fingers and blamed police for failing to serve justice in that case. But contrary to some opinions, no body homicides are not commonplace. Utah Supreme Court has said a person's disappearance isn't by itself enough to prove a murder has occurred, but neither is a body required. It all depends on the totality of the circumstances, which brings us to the story at the heart of Cold Season 2. I'm going to read it to you so you understand it, Doug. Have they proven she's been dead? In 1985, 39-year-old Joyce Yost disappeared from her apartment in South Ogden. She vanished. Yost, a mother of two, and a proud grandmother at such a young age, was just days away from testifying in court about a brutal rape at the hands of a man she had never met. He grabbed me by the throat and told me if I screamed or said anything that uh, he would tear my throat open. The accused? Douglas Lovell. He insisted he was innocent, though all of the evidence suggested otherwise. When I looked at the evidence in her car, initially, there was an earring in the car. She had lost an earring. The match to that earring was on the floorboard of his car. It was very, very good evidence. Joyce Yost may not be a name you recognize. True crime TV shows have never featured her story. Now, for the first time ever, we will take you inside the investigation with never-before-released recordings, including her very own account of the attack that started it all. I felt like my life was on the line. As well as a secretly recorded confession that finally brought a capital murder charge against her killer. The defendant, Douglas A. Lovell, is guilty of murder in the first degree. The man convicted of sexually assaulting, kidnapping, and killing Joyce has been sentenced to death twice. Yet he remains in a Utah prison cell, living a life on appeal, working every angle of the system, with taxpayers footing the bill. Doug Lovell's got, he's got more chances in life than Joyce ever did. Joyce's family has endured nearly four decades of torment, unable to put her to rest. He's continued to do horrible things to our family for all these years. Our investigation raises questions about a system that has provided chance after chance to a man who has shown little intention to change. Obviously, he was out to silence her. It reveals lapses in communication on the part of police and missed opportunities to save Joyce's life. She was happy. She was beautiful. She was... She was the whole package. She was just wrapped up with the most beautiful bow but we didn't have a lot of time with her. Joyce Yost is no longer silent. Hear her voice in season two of The Cold Podcast. I realized I was in a, a rape situation, that I wasn't just with somebody that was being a little bit forceful that I was gonna be able to get rid of, but I was in a rape situation. Episode 1 of Cold Season 2 is available right now exclusively on Amazon Music. It's free to listen, no subscription required, and keep it right here as we follow the story with Dave Colley weekly on KSL 5.